Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how to set timing on a YZ250F or a YZ450F from the year 06 to 09. So, yeah, a lot of people think this is hard, but it's really not. It's actually a simple task. You want to go up to your uh, head and your uh, gears up here um, and look at it. As you can see, up here is a mark and there's a mark here. Those are both dots, and then there's another one right here, and another one on this sprocket in the same area. I don't know if you can see it. It's a small little dot right in this area. But yeah, pretty much what you want to do with both those dots is line them up with the top of the head. So you want this dot here lined up with the top of the of this part and you want this dot over here lined up with the top of this part which it is now but then you want to go down here and as you can see if I look in here um, you want to line your flywheel up there's a notch on it um, it says HI on it the I is on the right side and the H is on the left side they're real close together it's like this much of a gap but you want to line up that eye with this top notch right here. That's your timing mark. So you want to line that eye up in there. I don't know if you can see it. That little mark. I don't. You can hardly see it, but that little mark right there. You want it lined up with this, which it is now, and we're lined up up here and on this side also. So yeah. Um, We're in time, should be in time. We are in time. So yeah, I can put everything back together, but what you wanna do first before you do that is you need a flathead screwdriver, which I don't know where it went. Um, but yeah, what you do is you put this screwdriver in there and turn this screw out and you'll get tension on your chain so I just got to keep turning it out until I have enough tension on the chain to where I know it ain't coming out and that is a bit tight the way it is so I'm gonna loosen it just a tad bit not a lot, but just a little bit, like that, and I'd say that's a good amount of slack for my timing chain. So yeah, that's pretty much all you do, and then all you gotta do is put the bolt back in here to lock it in place. And yeah, we can throw the bike back together, and it'll be ready to rip again.